that I've done on the video review for you. This time we're taking a look at the newest figure in uh, fan projects, not Stunticon team. This is down CA, I think 11, Downforce, uh, also known as Drag Strip. Um, first thing you'll notice if you know anything about the originals is he is missing a set of wheels. For some weird reason, the original had six sets of wheels. No, six wheels, three sets of wheels instead of two. There's an extra axle right here. So there's two front wheels on each side. Why? I don't know, but that's the way the original figure was. Um, they didn't do that with this one. It's been a slight point of contention, but it's fine. I mean, it's an extra set of wheels. It does roll pretty decently. Um, he's a lot lower to the ground, as you can see, because he is a uh, sleeker car. More, It's more of a, uh, you know, like a racing car, like a Formula One car, than like a Lamborghini, like the other ones so far have been. Um, his weapons do store on the bottom, but they are not tailpipes like the others. They're actually just pegged in right here, so let's just pop them out. Not crazy about the gun. In fact, I really don't particularly like the gun. Again, two halves like uh, like all the others. It's just this itty bitty little gun. It's very small in his hand. It's very blah. But it's just the gun. Ugh. Put that off to the side. Off there. Let's take a look at this guy. So he's very cool looking. You actually can't see the back of his head and his feet through the canopy. But I mean, it is very clean like the others. Uh, it is a little weird with these bits that hold onto the fenders, but whatever. It still looks pretty cool. a little thicker. That's presumably where the motor would be if it was a real car. Alright, let's take a look at this guy. Transform him into robot mode. So next, what you want to do, this guy has a lot of old joints. Uh, a lot of stuff is probably going to pop off. Don't freak out. Uh, the first thing you want to do is just come up here to these front spoilers. Just pop these off. Come up in the front and just kind of Get a fingernail in there and wedge that open and just kind of bring all this out and out of the way. Next we're going to pull the canopy forward. Kind of leave the upper section by itself for now. Um, you're going to see the little tiny feeties uh, under the canopy. Those are on ball joints and they might come out so just be careful. Uh, pull these bits off on the side and then split the back half. Kind of freeze everything up. You want to pick a leg. I knew that was going to happen. Trying to do it without popping it off the ball joint. Yeah. So what you want to do is pick a leg, kind of unfold it. Just be careful, there we go. Unfold it. Same thing on the other side. Once you get one, it's a lot easier. There we go. Um, now, like breakdown and was it car crash? No, car crash was breakdown. The heck was the other guy's name? What was the other fake name for Wild Rider? I can't remember. T Bone. That was his name. Um, they both had similar leg transformations. Um, this guy has a new leg transformation, but is equally uh, unique. So you just come up here and pick up the feet. Uh, they are little tiny DBD feet, but they work fine. Um, come over here, pick a leg, and what you want to do is you want to first rotate the wheel down and around. Doesn't matter where it goes for now because we're going to finagle it in a second. Now this is on a double hinge. This inside, this outer uh, portion of the leg, see, it's, it's on a double hinge. So what you want to do is keep it that way, and then the hole here where the rivet is, it's going to peg in there. But since it's on a double hinge, you don't have to stretch the leg plastic to get the hole in the peg. So what you can actually do is just put it in on an angle like that because of the double hinge, wiggle it in, flex, you know, pinch it tight, and there you go. So flip this little bit up, and now the cool part, the wheel actually has a little notch cut in it. You can see it right there. Try to get a nice clear shot for you. Right there. 
and that notch will line up with this portion of por portion portion of his I guess his heel kind of the sole of his foot this tab right here will line up with that groove give it a little push and that locks the wheel in and now the wheel won't spin when he's standing a neat little neat little add-on very cool so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side flip the wheel push this in until it's flush fold the bit up lock in the wheel camera you can see sure we're in focus here uh, you can see his head there when you lift the canopy um, his head is on the canopy the mechanism so it also pulls the head out it does have a very cool break the uh, drag strip head uh, what you want to do next is kind of uh, they're on the shoulders are on like this hinge this circular hinge and the ball joints you want to kind of pull the hinges down like that and then you kind of want to rotate them down like this. It's the best way I found. Because what you're going to do is rotate this canopy around. It only goes one way. It goes clockwise. Yes, kind of. Well, if you're looking at it from the back, it goes clockwise. So what you want to do is make sure the the arms are like that. Take his head. Push it as far down as you can because the canopy can catch both the shoulders and the back of the head. And both times you're gonna have a bad day. So what we're gonna do is rotate it very slowly. As soon as you feel any resistance, stop. See what it's caught on. Move the bit that's caught on, and then continue to rotate. Otherwise, it's very thin plastic, and you will break it. Trust me. Pick his head up. And now you can work on the shoulders. So what you want to do with the shoulders? Is kind of bring this bit out and back and out of the way. Uh, you can actually go ahead. Um, this is on a. This is like a weird S-shaped bit. Um, plugs in here and here, both on ball joints. And then you just kind of want to move it to the back, and then swing it forward. And we're going to line everything up in a second. Just keep that there. Um, rotate just this bit around at this at the upper bicep, just like so. So the car part is on the side. Um, fold out the arm. Double bend at the out, double hinge at the elbow. Rotate this bit around. This bit likes to pop off a lot, but again, just on a ball joint, no problem. Come in here. There's a little tab you can grab to flick out the wrist, the fist, and then you just kind of lower this down on his shoulder like that, and then you can pick up his shoulder however you want. So again, rotate this around. Bring this to the back. Rotate it to the front. Twist this around. Rotate this side bit up. A lot of steps in the arms. Pull on the arm down and flip out the fist. And there we have downforce in his robot mode. I wish I had the G1 drag strip to show you, but he's actually one of the only combiners I don't have right now. Him and I think Abominus are like the only ones. Well, and Monstructor and the other obscure Japanese ones, like Road Caesar and Land Cross. Yeah, weird Japanese names. Anyway, we can take his gun, put it in his hand, and it looks like a little tiny pistol. Pew, pew. Don't know how that's supposed to be menacing, but he's got his little pistol. And there we go. So, for his articulation, head is on a ball joint, got good range of motion, very stiff. Be careful. It does tend to have a tendency to move down when you put any pressure on it because it's on that sliding mechanism, so just be aware of that. Shoulders go up and down on that rotation, on that hinge for our transformation mostly, but you can get obviously good poses out of it. Bull joint at the actual shoulder, cut at the upper bicep, double bend at the elbow, as I showed you before. Actually bull jointed wrists, even though they, and they swivel in and out for transformation. But nice range of motion in the hands. Rotational hips. Again, watch that canopy. Ball jointed hips. Cut above the knee. Bend at the knee, but because of the fender, you don't have 
it can only go about 45 degrees or so. Kind of sucks, but you can always do nothing about it. <laughs> you can do like just bend his leg back. I don't really find it that big of a deal. You can still get him doing squats just fine. Um, nothing at the ankle or at the just the rotation at the upper knee. No, no rotation at the ankle. Just um, the foot is on a ball joint, but it's just the very tip of the foot. So nothing behind back in here. Um, yeah, so I dig this guy. He is very cool looking. I like that we have a new mold, you know, as opposed to uh, <clears throat> Breakdown and Wild Rider, we're, you know, basically mold brothers. It's pretty cool that this guy is totally unique, as he should be, because the car was just crazy. Um, he has little, he has the front wheels under his arms, which is kind of weird. Especially when you like lift his arm up, it's like, ha ha, I got a wheel. But whatever, it works. Uh, like I said, I do wish he had six wheels instead of four. But that's kind of nitpicky. He does have the connector bit in his chest for Scramble City, so he can be a leg. And the arm will plug into here. Not totally crazy about the arm. Basically, he's going to be in, in vehicle mode, but flipped up like that. So this will be the elbow for him to be a proper arm. Doesn't look the greatest, but he's still awesome. I'm sure he's going to look great all combined up. In person um, not crazy about the gun really don't like the gun but he's gonna be in vehicle mode in combination mode anyway so don't really mind it too much although I do like breakdowns and t-bone guns much better but yeah he is very cool uh, obviously if you do plan on getting the others you should get him because otherwise how are you going to get the gestalt all combined up. He's a little bit kibbly in robot mode, especially up in his shoulders, especially these bits. Not so much these, I mean they are kibbly, but they look cool. These look like crap, just hanging off the side. It gives him bulkier shoulders, and I think he needs a slimmer look. But there's really no place else to put those bits, so what are you going to really do? But other than that, he's pretty clean, very nice looking. Overall, very, very, very cool. Uh, just be careful when you do transform him. Again, the canopy is very fragile. And the everything likes to pop off. The feet can pop off. These bits on the side love to pop off. These bits love to pop off. So just be careful. Like I said, everything's on bull joints, so you're really not going to break it. The only thing you're risking breaking is the canopy. So just be careful what you, and you know, be aware of what you're doing. Transform nice and slow. You won't have any problems. So yeah, this has been the video review. For Fans Project Causality CA11 Downforce.